Hello and welcome to White Horse Music TV! My name is Richard Budiner and I'm co-owner of this wonderful shop with my lovely wife Michelle Budiner who is not behind the camera today, that's Louisa behind there, hello! hello. Um, she's got two fingers, actually she's got more than two fingers, she plays violin, it would be very difficult to play violin with only two fingers. I'm sure there's someone out there who plays really well with two fingers. Anyway, today I am doing a video for Chris and I am going to demonstrate a couple of violins that Chris was interested in. He can't come here, he's sick at the moment. Get well, dude. Um, so, the two violins that we have to show are this one called a Struna Maestro. And you guys would have seen Struna Maestro a few times before because it's sort of like co-designed by Richard at Whitehorse Music, who's a, a genius. And um, they are copies of famous antique violins. So this is a copy of a Guarnerius. The Guarneri violins have sort of slightly elongated F-holes like that. Um, and this particular maker makes Guarneri a little bit better than the Strads, I find. Like the, the sound is deeper and stronger. And so I go with Guarneri and they use really good old, very top quality Russian spruce on these Struna Maestro violins. Lots of different levels of Strunas. This is the second from the top, and they use the best of the quality of the Russian spruce on the top of those. And on the back, they use beautiful maple. This thing here is an ebony button. You see that on a lot of handmade violins. And you'll even see a little dot there. That is an alignment hole. I've been making a violin recently and I've just finished making the alignment holes on the top and the bottom. I don't know if you'll be able to see it with the chin rest there. Oh yeah, you can see it just above the chin rest. Oh, sorry, yeah, the, the fitting for the chin rest. Um, they are to align the front and the back with the ribs when you go off and do other parts of the instrument so you can put it together again, you'll know it be in exactly the, the right place. I'm not sure why I'm going off on that tangent, but it's sort of interesting information. So the Struna Maestro has these beautiful boxwood fittings as well, nice boxwood tin rest, boxwood pegs. Um, and it has been set up by Richard at Whitehorse Music, who's that genius that I was talking about before. Um, so he's made um, a very high quality bridge, the best quality bridge that you can get from France. Um, I've carved it for this particular violin, um, put on good quality strings, made a new sound post inside, spent a couple of hours. Um, I enjoy it. It's sort of a sickness. I've seen a doctor about it. They say it's fine to, you know, be obsessive about setting up violins, apparently. Um, so that is Struna Maestro. Um, and this one, which is also a beautiful looking instrument as well. These are two of my most favorite looking instruments available. This is called a Rigetti Master Series. And it's a Rigetti Master Series 6.2, and it's a Stretton, which is, the Stretton is um, a particular Stradivarius violin. Stretton has a beautiful one piece back there. The Rigetti Master Series, there's lots of different levels of Rigetti. They go Rigetti RV2, then RV5, then RV7, RV9, RV10, RV8 as well, somewhere, somewhere in there. And the Rigettis go up in quality depending on the quality of wood they're using and the workmanship. Similar story with the Struners, but um, when they get to a certain level, they jump up to the Rigetti Master Series violins, which are copies of famous master instruments. So they go like 6.0 and then 6.2 and 6.3. And then they go on to ones called Peter Guan, which are the top of their range, which is named after the, the head of the workshop, Peter Guan. So that is a Regetti Master Series 6.2 and they're just beautifully, crisply made as I kiss this pink shoulder rest. Um, okay, so what I might do is play them because they're not pieces of furniture, it's good to listen to them. Okay, so I'll start with the Rigetti Master Series. Okay, there you go. So the Rigetti Master Series are usually known for 
like a very strong, bright sound. This has more warmth of sound than the usual Rigetti Master series. And this is why it's good to play these different violins. I mean, you know, if I had five of these, each one's gonna sound different. You can't just really necessarily choose a violin based on its reputation or something like that because each one is a different piece of wood. But that is a beautiful sounding violin. Let's play the Struna Maestro. We'll cheat by putting on this pink shoulder rest. has quite a rich, deep, very strong sound, possibly slightly deeper on the bottom, and it rings lots as well. There's a lot of ring going on as I'm playing the different notes. So what I'll do now is I'll play this one, this time the Struna first, I'll play this one and then I'll play the Rigetti without talking and talking and talking in between. And you get to listen to someone playing Twinkle Twinkle in the background there as well. What an entertaining video. Alright, let's do this one first. happen to me but I'm pretty stumped I reckon I would struggle to choose those ones Chris it's up to you good luck choosing I recommend probably my best recommendation is buying both of them thanks for watching bye